Hello everybody, this is Abhishek Bhagirwal. Welcome to Salesforce. So today I'm going to show you how to integrate Salesforce with Google Drive using Zapier tool. Okay. So this is the tool that I'm talking about Zapier. It allows you to integrate two applications seamlessly with just a few clicks. Okay. So this is one of my org, one of my developer edition orgs. And this is my Google Drive, which I'm going to integrate using Zapier. Okay, so let's begin the configuration. So once you have logged in in your Zapier account, uh, you need to create a Zap, okay, to integrate the applications. So I want to connect my Salesforce app with my Google Drive. Okay, now it will ask you to the it will ask you about the event when this is going to happen and what are you trying to do here okay so here i'm gonna say when a new record is created and i'm gonna say upload a file okay so what is your zap here is upload a file in google drive when new record in salesforce is created okay then let's click try it now here on the on this uh, page you need to configure both of the accounts salesforce as well as google drive okay so let's first uh, authenticate our salesforce org so here i am going to choose the account and i am going to click to connect a new account here So it's going to ask you about the production or sandbox, which environment you are going to connect. Click continue. So I have already logged into this uh, developer edition org. So it will ask me to allow access. So I'm just going to allow it. So once that is done, your configuration for the account connection for Salesforce is completed. Click continue. Now you need to select uh, the objects and what are you trying to uh, sync from here okay so i'm gonna select account object click continue now it uh, gives you an option to test your trigger okay so you just have to click the test trigger it will take whatever existing records are available in salesforce and it will try to do whatever you have mentioned over here in the trigger okay so as it says that we found records in your Salesforce account, we will load up to three most recent records that have not appeared previously. So basically it is trying to uh, make this trigger working. Okay. Do uh, using the testing approach. Okay. So as you can see the green check mark we have got, that means it is working fine. Close it. Now let's configure the Google drive. Okay. So again, choose the account and uh, this is one of my accounts so i'm just selecting them once that is done click continue and here you need to define which folder you want to use what kind of file uh, would it be and uh, whether you want to convert this information in document and what are the uh, values you want to put there so let's configure that so drive i'm selecting my google drive folder i'm selecting this one folder I have created for this purpose is for Zapier files. As you can see here, this is the folder. Okay, that I have selected. And I'm going to say convert to document to true. Yes, I want a document. Whatever information is flowing from my Salesforce, I want a document to be created in my Google Drive. File name, I am saying that the name of that account should be used for the file name. And one mandatory field is also required here that is the text of the file what what data you want to put in the file so i am saying the name of the account id created date and description these four fields of data you want inside that file okay once all these configurations are done click continue okay this is the summary of whatever configuration you have done click test action now it will try to do the same thing using one of these accounts which selected over here in this test so record c is selected that is our salesforce customers account okay so once that test would be done in that step you can see 
it says so this test is done green check mark we have got a fi upload file was sent to google drive about seven seconds ago so now let's see it so here you can see the file came here with the name of that account and on click of it let's open it and as you can see the content in the file is the name of that account the id the created date and the description of that account so all the data is coming properly so that's how you can connect your two applications using say uh, using zapier with just a few clicks it is a very amazing tool and it provides a lot of lot of applications support to connect seamlessly with each other okay so god just check out what this tools how it works what are the uh, subscription options i cannot publish it uh, right now this zap because it requires the subscription or maybe uh, the, the uh, trial version of it but without that i won't be able to publish it see as it, as it says that unlock premium apps to continue okay but you can uh, check the what are the prices and you can see what applications it supports and you can try to uh, use this amazing tool with just few clicks it gives you the opportunity to integrate two applications very seamlessly okay so that was all about this video if you find this content helpful please like the video and comment on it if you have any queries for more please subscribe to my channel as salesforce thank you